How is everyone doing today? Good. Good. Fantastic. Such a pleasure to talk to you all. I'm going to dive right in with kind of a, a toughie. Can you recall what the final day of shooting was like for you all? But well, we were in wetsuits. Yeah, all I could have, we could, we were all there. They were in wetsuits. In like a paddling pool. <laughs> and I was uh I was by a monitor surrounded by champagne tables with champagne. Um, I'm open. Unopened until the last moment. Until the last moment. They each did a shot coming out of the water. And that was the um that was it. That was the that was the final bit we shot in the whole movie. It's so rare that uh characters like this get a, a fantastic kind of send-off, not just for the actors and for and for the audiences as well. So how did you know that the final scene for this, how did you in your gut feeling be like, yeah, we we've nailed the final scene, this is a farewell now for well, the, India yeah. and the franchise. Well, well you never know, but I thought I knew when I watched Phoebe and Harrison and Karen Allen do their bit together that that something magical was happening. And that's all you can ever know. Um, you just have your instincts. Um, it's never empirical. It's always instinctual. So um, I felt good. I, I felt good. And also, though, Indy keeps living. Just because the movie stopped, uh, he isn't stopped. The and so the the for me this word final, it only refers to the window of the movie closing, but it doesn't. His character is still trucking. Well, it's being passed on from you know, through generations of families. It has these films have been introduced to to a new generation of filmmaker uh, film goers. Uh, you know uh, when when parents want to share the film with their kids and they sit down and watch it together. That's all you can hope for. But that character, the utility of these films to a, to a family conversation is going to be there for a long, long time. I think. Absolutely. Like it's, it is, it is one of those things that decades from now, it still will be celebrated for what it was. Um, <clears throat> Harrison. A few moments uh, on set oh. as well. And, crew members were actually in tears and i think that final scene there were people moved by it and i think that's a pretty good sign isn't it? yeah that always is i always looked at my script supervisor and yeah. she stella was weeping <laughs> i noticed there was kind of like a connecting tissue for the three years because james obviously you've helped hugh jackman and patrick stewart say goodbye in in logan phoebe you've actually helped daniel craig say goodbye in no time to die and Harrison, you previously said goodbye to to Han and to Deckard, and now, in a sense, to this one. So I'm going to I'm going we're to pitch. We're all good at this kind of yeah, thing. We're, just, <laughs> we're like a, a murderer's row. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch an idea here that I just it just clocked because I think there's one more character for Harrison that people love, and Phoebe, you you could look into to to write or co-star. And James, you could potentially look in to, I to direct. It. I knew it. I Do you know? What? It's not no? Rabbi. No, I was no, going to no. go with, I was going to say Jack Ryan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I think Harrison wants Hot Rabbi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I listen, the three years working in a Hot Rabbi movie, I'm, I'm 100% in on that. So. Can you see yeah. it? Have you got the vision uh, I, I can see it. I can see the poster, that's for sure. <laughs> Is there something particularly cathartic about movies like this where if if you go in the mindset thinking this could be our last one this is exactly what i want to do this is something maybe we haven't done with this character or within this franchise before so we're just going to throw everything at the wall that we've always wanted to do is that is that a particular cathartic feeling for for, for movies like this I've only made one, so I, I threw whatever I could at the wall, but I hadn't been holding anything back because I hadn't been involved. So, Harrison, you're the only one of the three of us who... Uh, I don't remember throwing anything at the wall and to see if it would stick. I just... We wanted to to provide an entertainment that that felt and was somewhere in the register of the, of the other films, but this was a moment, this was, the, the whole event is colored by time, this movie about time. And we took our time getting the script right so that it was like, just show up and, and say these words and we're going we're gonna to be able to tell this story because it's such, it's such a strong uh, story. You just open your mouth and it comes right out. It was a great experience, you know, feeling... A, a sense of completion, not 
walking away with, you know, we delivered the mail. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for taking the time to talk to you today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Give them hell, Indiana Jones. A few times in my life I've seen things. I've been tortured with voodoo. I've been shot nine times. Once by your father. Ah, sorry. But I've been looking for this 